Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of a carbuncle and let's orientate ourselves. We see two tissue pieces here. This is the cut surface of the skin. Let me just show you the labels. So we have the skin surface, we have a sinus opening here, which we will take a closer look at later. Here is the cut surface and on this bottom piece, the skin surface is actually at the lower edge. Turning this around, this is the deep surface of the skin. This is still the cut surface. So we can see that there is an area here of discoloration. And in the live patients, this would appear as a reddish erythematous raised area with potentially a couple of sinus openings. And these openings lead to suppurative inflammation deep to the skin. Here on the cut surface, these yellowish areas represent separative inflammation and we also have some abscess cavity formation. Let's look at another example. This is another example of a carbuncle and let's have a look at the labels. We have the skin surface on top, a sinus opening here and we have the cut surface in this region that is suppurative inflammation. Let's take a closer look. In this area, we can see the yellowish pus. We can also see abscess cavities. And just here, there is a small dimple caused by the sinus opening. Let's look at one last case. This is the final example, again showing the skin surface and this discolored area of inflammation. And on the cut surface, this leads to a deep area of separative inflammation that extends through the dermis quite deep into the subcutaneous fat. A carbuncle is a localized area of bacterial infection of hair follicles that extends quite deep to the subcutis. And the commonest causative organism is Staphylococcus aureus, especially methicillin-resistant Staph aureus. So a carbuncle is defined as an aggregate of connected furuncles and a furuncle is actually a smaller area. It is a small abscess that exudes purulent material, again involving the skin and subcutis and again usually around the hair follicles. Clinically, the patient will experience a tender raised erythematous boil which may be fluctuant on palpation because of the collection of pus. There may be sinus openings discharging pus, as we saw earlier. There also may be systemic symptoms such as fever and malaise and regional lymphadenopathy. Carbuncles can occur in healthy individuals, especially those who are Staph aureus carriers on the surface of the skin. It also occurs in greater frequency in immunocompromised patients, in patients with diabetes, underlying skin conditions such as eczema, obesity, as well as anemia. Common sites include the intertriginous region, such as the axilla and the groin, and also hair-bearing skin, especially where it is slightly thicker, such as the back, the posterior neck, or the thighs. To complement this video, there is also a short video describing the microscopic features of carbuncle, and you can find this similar to the gross virtual pathology specimens in our Virtual Pathology Museum. You can access this through PathWeb, which is our online pathology resource, and you can scan this code or look for the link in the video description to register for free. And we are back to our Virtual Pathology Museum. So in summary, this is a carbuncle with an area of discoloration with suppurative inflammation that extends deep through the dermis into the subcutis, and this is usually caused by bacterial infection, and there may be sinus tracts opening into the skin. If you scroll down, you will see more information, some annotated microscopy pictures, as well as a short video describing the microscopic features of carbuncle. Thank you.